Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004 Career Mode, and I have a treat in store for those who have been watching. As you guys know, the NASCAR Thunder 04 game did not have as much modding capability originally as, say, NASCAR Thunder, you know, 2003, um, and a few other games. Well, that has changed recently, and I was um, able to come across a mod um, and it'll, they'll be linked down in the description if you want to do this yourself, but you need a copy of PCX, a, a PCSX2, um, you need your own BIOS and all that other stuff. So if you've ever done emulation before, it's pretty much the same thing, but they have brought something brand new. Now, I can't show you guys everything in career mode because what we're doing is we're installing this mod midway through our career. If things go wrong, we will be able to revert it back because I still have the original um, files as well. But we're going to try to pick up right where we left off here at race number 13 at the MBNA Armed Forces 400. Hopefully you'll see it. One of the biggest notable things is that if you guys remember Christian Fittipaldi, you know, the 43 car, you know, the car that I don't really like. You guys know Christian Fittipaldi, right? Um, I like him as a person. I don't like him in the game, but neither here nor there. Well, with his recent performance on the track being around 38th in the standings, Petty Enterprises has made a change. Now, who would that driver be? They're picking up in the middle of the season as a full timer, hopefully. Now, that's a big hope um, because I do have him listed as a cup driver in the um, Excel spreadsheet. So we'll see if this all catches on. But you will probably see some new um, new schemes on the track that you haven't seen before and maybe even some surprising drivers up near the front as well as a little bit stronger of a field because even though i'm on legend difficulty it is a little easy at times not that i'm you know just running away from everything but i do feel like it is a little easy for my second year team to have the performance that we have but we've also bumped up the um, ai's aggression a little bit more we bumped up their speed a little bit with the help of this mod um this mod creator um, who really just created more of like a texture pack, but then they went even so much further as to actually incorporate names and drivers into the um, into the field. So you know what? Rather than just tell y'all, let me show y'all. Okay, let's back out of my career mode real quick before we actually get into it. And you can see like, okay, this is Matt Kenseth, but you can see how he has all these different schemes. Of course, the names going missing actually weren't the case before I started recording. But see, Brett Bodine is now. Um, listed as a bush driver when he was supposed to be like a full-time cup driver in our career mode you got dale jr um who's driving the king of beers car um i don't have all of his uh his schemes showing up for whatever reason i do probably need to go and like double check that but it's not that bad uh, it's not that bad for me at least right now and of course we got all of the mark martin schemes that we could possibly find um we've got dave blaney added in so welcome back dave blaney uh, we got Tony Reigns involved in the uh, mod again. Um, Todd Bodine is like a 54 car, but please don't ask me why some of these people have lost their textures. We got John Andretti in the race. Um, for those that have been looking for John Andretti, uh, Jimmy Spencer is back. Uh, we've also got a few others who are uh, supposed to be other cars, but they are not due to um, scheming issues and texture issues, which yeah, it's not too big of a deal. These guys are like mostly your Bush guys, so I'm not too concerned about them at the moment. Um, that could always change, but I think, we'll, I think we're fine for now. You know, I'm, I'm definitely looking at this and I see, you know, all the potential behind this mod. I'm definitely excited for it. I'm not going to go in and individually change anybody's schemes and all that other stuff because, you know, there's some people out there who will go race by race, assigning them to some schemes. I'm gonna let the AI um, or the game's logic system attempt to find its own schemes. Now, if we start seeing like default schemes and test schemes in the, on the track, then of course I'll probably go through and in the future start making those changes, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. So that is why I'm not um, jumping at the gun to try to change anything drastically right now. With all that said, huh. <sighs> That was a lot to say at the very beginning, first four minutes. I have talked y'all's ears off. I'm so sorry. Let's go ahead and get a quick refresher since we are now running a modded version. So we do have Dale Jr. leading the point standings over Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, Dale Jarrett, and I. I'm in 50, I'm in fifth place. I'm not that far back from the leader. I'm 121 points back. Um, we've got a bottom half of the top 10 is Sterling Marlin, Kevin Harvick, Bible Bonnie, Ryan Newman, and Mark Martin. Um, Jimmy Johnson and Matt Kenseth 
technically based on their stats um inside this mod pack should actually start getting a little bit better so you'll start seeing points maybe start to shift or you start seeing drivers who haven't won races in a while start winning races again um i think jimmy yeah jimmy hasn't had a single win this season and matt kenseth also hasn't had a single win in the last two seasons so it's about that time when these guys kind of were on the top of the game essentially um them and um you know kurt bush as well but we'll start seeing some of this start to shift um in the standings greg biffle i mean he's still going to be kind of like a mid-tier driver um and we could easily adjust his aggression a little bit more but we'll start seeing him kind of running near the mid pack maybe even near the front without actually fading all the way back you'll see you'll see the modders did some really good work okay they did some really good work based on some of the videos that i've seen from other creators out there in the nascar community and things like that now refreshing ourselves on the rest of our team we still have things that are being overhauled so we can't do anything there and our sponsors aren't leaving for another six races um in terms of shop additions we still can't afford anything because again we're still stuck under cost cap which will now make this a little bit harder with the cost cap being a thing so without further ado let's go ahead and get ready for dover we're gonna bring the same speedway car that we had or at least we're gonna try to bring the same speedway car we had so that will be chassis number four because that's our best chassis we got um in terms of engine um it is dover i don't want to bring a brand new motor to the uh to the field uh, i do need something with some power and some efficiency though so engine number four will stay on the car and as far as car body goes we've only got two and they're pretty much the same but one is just lower on condition we'll just go with body number one for a 66 overall rated car so we should hopefully see ai look better hopefully um if not then we'll try to make the adjustment for the next race. I'm not going to sit there and reset in the middle of after doing all this talking to y'all. So if there is an issue, it will be addressed for the next race with the help of the mod community. So let's go to Dover. Okay, I'm really excited about Dover. I'm not even going to lie. But here we go. First laps at Dover with our car. Getting down to the corner, I also turned on another overhead light because for whatever reason, I was blending into my stuff. You know, eventually the mod community is going to come up with a way to modify the game um, and bring the tracks even up to date, which would be hilarious to see. Coming across the line, P3. Yeah, I think we're going to have to adjust the AI's aggression a little bit more for at least qualifying. Maybe that will help with the uh, qualifying logic. But across the line, another poll. But we have been on a really good tear of polls lately, so that shouldn't mean too much right welcome to delaware for the running of the mbna armed forces family 400 at dover international speedway so what can we expect in this one barney well the name monster mile does say it all it takes total concentration each and every lap you'll see guys tagging the wall out of turn two and four all race long and let me tell you they'll feel it tomorrow morning the nikon car has had an amazing string of qualifying runs this year yeah, and that comes from hard work from everyone on that team. Consistency is a major factor in the NASCAR Winston Cup Series. In fact, consistency is what wins championships. Mark Martin has a solid top 10 spot in the standing so far. Yeah, he needs to focus on this race. A poor finish can quickly bounce you out of the top 10. But a win He's not in the top 10. Positions might even put you in the top five. We'll see what happens. Ken Schrader has earned over 20 pole positions during his NASCAR career. Schrader's always been pretty good in qualifying, especially in the late 80s and early 90s. In 1993, he started 8 of 30 races from the front row, and when you're not working your way through traffic, a good finish is a lot easier. See, real quick, before we get started, let me just point out this Dale Jr. paint scheme. As you guys know, Budweiser is not in the game, but this, this texture pack that somebody has created has put Budweiser in the game. 
That's really cool. Okay, I just wanted to just wax poetic on that. I mean, look at it. It looks so pretty seeing Budweiser on the car. And I don't even drink beer. Okay. I am the point. I am the pole sitter. I got completely overlooked because Dale Jr. is at the was on the front row, and we're gonna have the we're gonna have to bump up the aggression because they are not behind me. Oh wait, ne never mind. They had to they had to get going first. Of course, if you guys remember correctly, I did walk away from people in Charlotte. Maybe my car is just this good. I think my car is just this good. Okay, we'll just have to keep the car clean for all the laps. Oh, I got into the wall. I say all that just to get into the wall. And now we're very tight. Going inside. Stay focused. You get the lead got into the wall even harder. Dig, buddy. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, Matt Kenseth is up here. And Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart and Bob... Bobby, Terry Labonte? Okay. Yep, the aggression system is working. I'm looking up in my mirror too much. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. We'll, we'll settle in. We'll get some laps clicked off and hopefully avoid hitting the wall here at Dover. The Monster Mile cannot claim a car from me. We're in the top five in the standings. Like, we're, we're doing good. I should probably really move myself. I am over the fuel and the tank and all that other stuff. You know what? I'm going to do that. Hold on. Sorry. I've been thinking about moving myself for a while. And you guys can sort of kind of still see the lap times. So I ran a 22-29-1. I mean, the last digit really doesn't matter. So we're up here. We're, we're still battling. Trying to avoid getting cold. I'm really arrow tight. Okay. I'm getting real tight. Sorry, Tony Stewart. Sorry, Terry Labonte. Terry Labonte was up here in the top five. That man was grooving, and I just ruined it for him. You want me to keep digging? Car gonna come to me, homie. I am struggling with a capital S. At this point, I'm just gonna lock in a little bit more. I feel like I'm not locked in. I'm too, I'm too excited that we got a modding community that's finally modding, modding NASCAR Thunder 04. And I had mentioned modding NASCAR Thunder 04 in the past. Like I was like, I wish there were some mods out there. And what happened? We got mods. So I had to lock in for a second here. Although I shouldn't be leaving the field. I do feel like they should be a little bit more on me right now, but it's whatever. Again, going to make sure we adjust this as time goes on. We're, we're going to find that sweet spot. I don't want to get into the bu the new Budweiser scheme. I'm sorry. Still beside you. Keep digging. It's so cool seeing it. It's even in the mirror. Okay. AT&T Broadband. Y'all remember when AT&T Broadband was like a huge deal? Because, you know, we were going from dial-up to broadband during them times. Oh, I'm aware I'm using up my tires, man. I got no choice. Oh, he is putting his car in the right spot. Matt Kenseth was putting his car in the right spot, y'all. Y'all saw that? That man was taking defensive lines. Overall becoming a massive nuisance to me. All right, 21, 20 laps down. Pit stops have begun. And my right front tire is absolutely shot. So is my fuel cell, but I'm trying my best to get as much time on Jeff Gordon as possible before we come down pit road, especially considering pit road is extremely busy. Yeah, we're into. Should we change? We are going to loosen the car. No, let's not loosen the car. Keep the car the same, even with the damage. Come on, boys. No bad times. No bad times. No bad times. Come on. 
We decided not to repair the damage because I feel that you guys got this. That was like a 15 2. The perfect stop. There goes the 117 of Derek Cope. Again, wrong texture. Need to figure out why. Everything was working fine. I'll get that taken care of. Greg Biffle blew his motor. Dude, my pit stop was so good. We actually got out ahead of Jeff Gordon on on a one lap difference. Take care of that car. Excuse me, Derek Cope. You're in the way. You're still in the way, Derek Cope. He says placeholder. Uh, I'm glad there's a modding community out there who's actually trying to work on this. Looks like we might have some rookies again. Um, I do need to figure out why Jamie McMurray is showing up as a rookie, or at least with a rookie paint. Hopefully that doesn't mean he's going back to try again, try to win rookie of the year again. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Honestly, not that mu that not that immersive immersion immersion immersive, whatever. You guys have an idea. just passed Dave Blaney in the 77. The 74 of Tony Raines. This was a cut car, if I remember correctly. He was like considered cut content at one point. Bro. Tony Rames, I will wreck you. I will wreck you. I am trying to drive away from Jeff Gordon. Who? Oh my God, he's keeping up with me. Oh no. That is what we missed definitely in the um, in Charlotte. Okay, Tony, you're in my way. It was wrong of me to do that, I apologize. But he was in my way. I gotta I gotta I gotta mature on the racetrack. I need to mature. I need to. I should not have done that to the 74 car. That was all me. But he was in my way. Actually, I did more harm than good. Jeff Gordon is in front of me. Jeff Gordon would be the points leader at this rate. And I'm not gaining any points on people. Got to get back to Jeff Gordon, guys. Oh, there's Larry Foyt. I got the turn in correct. Yes. Okay, now we got to chase after Jeff Gordon. Here, Jeff Gordon, Jeff Gordon, Jeff Gordon. I know GM is not going to be happy about the fact that I just got into uh, Jeff Gordon, but I mean, he is literally placing his car in the center of the track. I have never seen the AI be this aggressive at, at blocking. Let's see if I can get him to work up the track. Car, 
A rivalry renewed, yo. See if I can switch back this man, I can't. Can't switch him. Uh, I got into the wall. No. I was seeing if I could move him out the way, but I can't. I really want another win. Like last year, last season, by this time, we had multiple wins. I mean, we only got two so far. Like, every part of me is really just saying to myself, like, we really should be at the front. We should really be winning. Okay, we're slowly reeling him back in. This is going to come down to the last lap, isn't it? Still reeling him in. This is it. I don't think we're going to catch him. I think our mistake in the wall. I think I just almost ate my words here. I did eat my words. It's going to come down to the last corner, isn't it? Oh, no. No. Dive it in there. Yes. To heck with you, Jeff Gordon. Win. We got the win. That's yes. Oh. Jimmy Spencer finished ten, uh, seven or ten. There weren't very many lead changes. Yeah, there weren't too many battles up front for position. Those guys who ran in the top five were pretty dominant all race long. The 53 car has someone new to look out for on race day. Well, when you're out there beating and banging on guys, some feathers are bound to get ruffled. Maybe after some time to cool off, they'll be back to racing with clear heads. can't believe we won that it really came down to the last corner at dover if that wasn't interesting and enough to earn your like or your subscribe and you're new here i don't know what else i need to do like honestly it really came down to literally the last turn to win that race that is it anyways so it's nice to see that the mod actually worked because that was a probably the most competitive race i think i've ever had here in nascar thunder 04 um, so far, and I'm only in my third season. Let's run down the running order just to kind of see where some of these new names have kind of ran and finished. So as you guys know, I finished first, Jeff Gordon second, Dale Jr. third, Ryan Newman was fourth, Ricky Rudd fifth, uh, Mark Martin, Jimmy Johnson, Tony Stewart, Jeff Burden, and Jimmy Spencer. That's a name that you guys did not see before in this game. So Jimmy Spencer returns to NASCAR and runs 10th and finishes on the lead lap and gets 134 points. So that's really cool for him. A little bit further down the line, I'm not seeing anybody. Todd Bodine um, driving, I believe that's actually the, really the 11 car. The Sprite color, the Sprite number of 105 is wrong. Um, so, oh no, that's uh, Sprite Bodine in the 11. Todd Bodine's number is wrong. Um, that, I think that came down to a mod issue. Um, and that's more on me, not the mod itself. So that's on me. Uh, but Todd Bodine finishing 15th, not not bad. Um, Kurt Busch, Matt Kenseth finishing 16th and 17th. Um, who else? John Andretti. For my guy named Mark out there, Mark has been talking to me about John Andretti for a minute. John Andretti didn't finish that great, but he did finish a lot higher than where Christian Fittipaldi would have, finishing 23rd. Scrolling down a little bit more, 
Um, by the way, Kenny Wallace has been listed, I think, as a part-timer in this. I think. I need to double-check the uh, spreadsheet. Greg Biffle finishing 30th. Not bad for uh, the Biff. Although he qualified 13th, I'm going to have to probably adjust him in the mod a little bit more so that he can finish a lot higher. He shouldn't be 30th um, week in, week out. So we'll kind of see how that kind of goes for him. Um, Chase Montgomery, of course, took over the four car um, as a fantasy driver because the driver of the four car originally retired. So that is fine. What else? Larry Ford, Foyt, Tony Raines, Dave Blaney finishing 41st, Derek Cope, and oh, it was Kevin Harvick who blew his motor. Oh man, I didn't know it was Harv. Darn. Well, there you go. That rounds out your full running order. It's been a while since I last went through the full running order. Let's go see what the point standings look like. Um, once we head back to our racetrack, I can't believe we won. And that was the most exciting finish I think I've ever seen. See you guys at Atlanta. So yet again, another week, another point standing has uh, shifted. So we got Jeff Gordon on top over Dale Jr., Tony Stewart, and I. But I feel like the points battle has gotten a lot closer at the top. Only 114 points celebrate the top four, 148 celebrate the top five. That's huge. Mark Martin is now in the top 10, officially. Uh, Ricky Rudd has dropped down to 10th. Jimmy Johnson seems to be kind of climbing up there. I am beginning to see um, where the mod is starting to pick up the slack. I think um, all things considered. So I guess the real big telltale sign of how the mod works will be when Greg Biffle um, starts moving up the standings. So we'll have to keep an eye on the Biff as well as Casey Mears, Steve Park and all of them. Um, there's Brett Bodine. I don't think Brett Bodine ran the last race. 13 races. We're what? 14 races in. Yeah. I don't think Brett won, uh, ran the last race. Oh, I don't think I could be wrong. I have to correct me or I'll just go back and relook at the video to find out. Jack Spray did not run the last race because he's a part timer. Hermie Sadler didn't either. He's also a part timer. Christian Fittipaldi has been removed from the car, so he didn't run the last race, which means we officially do have new names. Jimmy Spencer, Todd Bodine, uh, John Andretti, Larry Foyt, again, placeholder text, Tony Rains, Dave Blaney, Derek hope so we do have new names finally filtering in i do need to double check though on the ray bestest rookie of the year it picks up with these guys being the rookies midway through the season eh, that's fine that's fine we can just call them rookies again anyways follow Following the race in Dover, we have $361,000 to work with. So you know what that means? It means we can finally work on our car without being in the red or being in uh, having too much of a concern. But we do have Pocono coming up next and we should definitely have been working on this stuff beforehand. Um, but I'm going to $140,000 to repair that. Uh, can we overhaul this motor? We can. Oh my. Bro, I am not made of money here. I'm not made of money. Like, crew, what are y'all doing? We're pulling in win after win. Do my builders not know that we are running a cost cap this season and that they are costing me a ton of money with, with these overhauls and repairs? Okay, so would it be worth it? It would be worth it to kind of work on. Oh, actually, we could. It would be worth it to kind of work on the car ahead of Daytona. We could keep running our speedway stuff. And then we got a road course. Then we got a super speedway. Would it be worth us working on it then? Of course. If we don't do anything, I mean, yeah, we'll wind up in the negative again if we don't. This cost cap is really making my head hurt. So if we decide to overhaul three things, we're gonna definitely be in the negative, which means we won't be able to do any work on any parts of the car until after we're out of the negative. Because obviously you don't wanna end the season in, in the negative and the cost cap. If we do that, then First and foremost, um, I won't be able to repair and or overhaul anything next season. That's like the penalty. We got plenty of races to make it up though. 
I don't really, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, I want to, I want to get all this stuff overhauled. Personally, I want to get this stuff repaired, but it, I don't think it's really worth it um, for the penalty sake. What is a repair? 120. 140 for this one. Okay. I think, let's see here. Let me pull out my calculator. So we have 361,000 minus 140 is 221 if we were to do chassis number four to repair the motor, which is our one of our better motors actually. To repair that is 117. So we have $104,000 left to work with. This is why if you go over the cost cap, it becomes a lot more um, painful to upgrade. So looking at body number one, so we have 104,000 will be 40,000 in the red, which is better than the um, 179,000 that we put ourselves in after Richmond. I think that's fine. Yeah, we'll go. We'll, so after Dover one, we are now negative 40. What we're going to do is, is we're going to repair everything because we do need this stuff to remain sort of kind of decent, um, especially now that the um, AI is now moddable. Y'all don't understand how happy I am. Wait, was that the right one? Yeah, that was right. So we're going to repair this at 117. And this chassis, chassis number four, will be repaired at 140. Okay, negative $40,000 in the red. Not a big deal, not too bad. We'll have all this stuff in order for the next, for two races after now. So I think we're good. I think we're good for now. I don't know, man, I'm nervous. I am nervous. If you like today's video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Keep in mind, this is now a new, uh, now modded NASCAR Thunder 2004 career mode where we picked up in the middle. I'll see you guys next time. Necro Darius, out. Or actually, Mark would hate me if I said that. Be easy, everybody.